Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another weekly neurodiagnostics discussion video where today we will be going over Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease, otherwise known as CJD. CJD is a subacute neurological disease first detailed by the work of Hans Creutzfeldt and his partner Alphonse Jakob, hence the name CJD. You probably heard the most common way of transmitting CJD is by eating tainted meat, i.e. beef or elk. The fact is CJD develops in most patients for no apparent reason. CJD tends to develop later in life around the age 60 with genetics seeming to be the leading cause. However, like I said before, that's just not clear. Furthermore, there's no real treatment for the disease other than easing the symptoms. Clinical symptoms of CJD are mostly characterized by rapidly progressive dementia. The first being a loss of muscular coordination, followed by personality changes, memory impairment, cognition, and may be accompanied by impaired vision. Some other symptoms include insomnia and depression. Additionally, myoclonus is common and may also be time-locked with periodic discharges on an EEG. However, that's not always the case. Speaking of EEG, the CJD pattern consists of a brief sharp wave or a brief sharp triphasic complex, either repeating every two seconds or as short as every half second. Along with periodic discharges, you may also see a severely disordered background, usually generalized and synchronous. The periodic activity is usually maximum over the anterior region, except for in rare cases, which is maximum over the posterior region. In sleep, the periodic discharges tend to disappear. It's important to note that if CJD is suspected in a patient, but there are no periodic discharges on the EEG after 10 weeks, chances are it's not CJD. And there you have it folks, that concludes our very short discussion on CJD. If you'd like to learn more, I'll provide some sources down below where you can read up on it. And if you found value in this video, please consider sharing it with a student or colleague. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know what kind of discussions you, my fellow neurodiagnostics professionals, are interested in. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.